Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you back. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over the best SSDs that you can buy for your PlayStation 5. But instead of just recommending what I think is the very best one, uh, the reason why I'm recommending several is because unfortunately, uh, these internal storage drives, these SSDs, uh, are sometimes just as hard to get as the PS5 itself. So if I just recommended one, um, it would probably be sold out all the time and no one would ever get it. So I'm gonna recommend a bunch of different ones, but I will explain to you the subtle differences between each one. I'll explain to you which one is the best, which one you should be going for. Some of these come with a heatsink and some of them do not. And you are required to use a heatsink in the PS5. However, um, linked in the description are all of these SSDs for you to buy but also I'm linking a few heat sinks. Now the heat sinks are 13 to $16 each, super inexpensive. And a lot of the times these drives, when they come with a heat sink, they'll sell out way quicker than the ones that don't have a heat sink because the ones that come with the heat sink, people see that and they're like, oh, it's all in one, that's easy, that's what I want. And that's make, that makes sense, that's what I would want too. But if you're willing to just install the heatsink yourself, which only takes a couple extra seconds. Just keep in mind, a lot of these will go for over retail price, even on official websites like Amazon or Walmart. So I'm going to include what the retail price should be. So if you go to buy one of those and you see a much higher price, you know that that's a third party seller selling on Amazon or Walmart's website and you should not buy it. Please feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're going to find this video helpful. And with all that explanation out of the way, Let's get right into the video. I love you guys, let's do it. Now this is the number one SSD on the list and it's my number one recommendation because the person who literally designed and created, the guy who made the PS5, Mark Cerny, tweeted out that this was the SSD that he was going to buy. It just received a price cut as well. So you should be paying $164.99 for this if you're looking at this in 2021 for a one terabyte or $339.99 for a two terabyte. Now, if you look in the description, you can see in the top corner, this says number one. Any SSD that you're interested in buying, look at the number in the top corner, then go to the description, you'll see the SSD with that number next to it. And there's gonna be links for you to buy it from Amazon, Best Buy, and sometimes other retailers as well. Make sure you're not paying more than what the standard price is. A lot of times Best Buy will have it priced higher than what it really should be. So just make sure you're, you're getting it for the correct price. I'm also giving you the prices without heat, heat sinks because a lot of the times the heat sink will cost $50 more. It won't even be that good of a heat sink. It'll be a pretty shrimpy heat sink when you can get a solid heat sink for 12 to $16. But obviously for read speeds for this, you're looking about 7,000 MBS. For write speeds, you're looking about, about 5,300 MBS. Um, that's plenty that outspeeds the SSD that's built into the PS5. So anytime the numbers are better than what the PS5 already has, you know you're safe to get that drive. So number one recommendation is the WD Black SN850. And let's get right into our number two recommendation. It's the Seagate Fire Cuda 530 SSD. Now remember, you want to make sure it's the Gen 4. So make sure you're getting exactly what you see on this slide. If you're finding this video helpful so far, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, but the Seagate Fire Cuda, you can do one terabyte for $209.99, two terabytes for $419.99, or four terabytes for $899.99. Keep in mind, all of the prices here are as of November 2021. So as we get closer to the holiday, those prices can always change. They can go down. Sometimes it can even go up. But a good rule of thumb is if you're getting a one terabyte quality SSD, it's gonna be around $200, hopefully a little bit less. And for two terabytes, around $400. So Seagate has a long history with Sony. Um, a lot of the external hard drives for the PS4, officially branded by Sony, were made by Seagate. It has a higher read and write speed than WD Black, at about 7,300 read, 6,000 write. This works fabulously with the PS5. Can't recommend it enough. The number three SSD I'm going to recommend is the Samsung 980 Pro. There is a one or two terabyte option. You're going to be paying about $189.99 for the one terabyte, 
three, maybe around $349.99 for the two terabyte. Again, those prices can fluctuate, but don't overpay. It has 7,000 read speed and 5,000 write speed, but testing those, unlike the first two, the read and write speeds have been shown to be a little bit slower when inside the PS5. However, that being said, I haven't found a single person that has used this in their PS5 and have been unhappy with the results. It will run buttery smooth on your PS5 and is a full-fledged recommendation, so you can't go wrong with this. Those first three that I recommended um, are the name brands that everyone knows and trusts that I'd recommend. So if you want to be really safe with the name brand, you're going to already want to just go with one of the first three I recommended. But I do have a couple other brands that will be in stock more and might save you a little bit of money. I'm going to go over these a little bit more quickly. Number four, we have the Sabrent one terabyte or two terabyte SSD. It's the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. And for one terabyte, you're looking at about 190 uh, US dollars. And for two terabytes, you're looking at about 369.99 US dollars. This was specifically tested and built for the PS5. And this actually includes that heatsink I was talking about, which is the easiest to install. So it'll come with the heatsink, even for the prices I told you, with 7,000 read speeds and 6,000 write speeds, plenty of speed, again, optimized for the PS5. Um, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you how genius the heatsink is. And again, how easy that is to install. But I wanna get right into the number five drive, which is the Gigabyte Aros Gen 4. 7,000 read speed SSD, and it's gonna have 5,500 write speed. You can get one or two terabyte options, and this actually includes the heatsink just straight out. So keep in mind, the prices might be a little more, but you're getting the heatsink for one terabyte for 200, or two terabytes for 400. Um, it's a very fast SSD, you can't go wrong with this. It's only on this list if I completely trust it. So even though this isn't name brand like the first ones, keep in mind, it's getting my full-fledged recommendation. Number six is the Crucial P5 Plus. Make sure it has that plus in there. Um, so it's the Gen 4. And again, you're looking at one or two terabyte options. However, you will need a heatsink for this one. But the great news is this is a budget option and you're gonna be looking at 149 for a one terabyte option or 299.99 for a two terabyte option. So it has 5,000 write speed and about 6,600 MB, MBS read speed. So it's not as fast as some of the other drives on here, but for your PS5, this will deliver the performance you need and save you a little bit of money. I highly recommend this one for everyone who's trying to save a little bit of money, get a budget option, but still have a quality. Now keep in mind, there's SSDs that can be a lot cheaper than this, but I'm recommending this one because not only is it a little bit cheaper than the others, but it still is that high quality. Every SSD on this list is gonna be that high quality, so you can't go wrong. And then number seven on the list is the Patriot Viper VP4300. And make sure you're getting the Gen 4 version of this. That is a mouthful, I know. This actually does come with the heatsink, and for one terabyte, you're gonna be at $199.99, two terabytes, $414.99, around depending on when you see this video this actually has the some of the highest read and write speeds of any ssd on the list even though it wasn't made specifically for the ps5 you should still get amazing speeds from this with at 7400 mbs read speed and 6800 mbs write speed again this is on the list because it has been thoroughly tested and it has delivered as a quality ssd for the ps5 so those are the seven ssds i recommend but let me just tell you about the heat sinks very quickly, again, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. But for the heat sinks, I've actually put three different heat sinks in the description of this video that you're seeing right now. All you have to do to install these heat sinks is unscrew them, insert the SSD, rescrew them, and then just put it in your PS5. So just an extra step. And these heat sinks range between $12 and $16 each. I'll put links to all of them in the description. But that's super easy. Um, heat sink that I was telling you about is actually $20 and that is from Sabrent. Now Sabrent had an SSD on this list. This heat sink comes with that SSD if you choose to buy that one, but if you choose to buy a different one without a heat sink to save some money, this heat sink will only run you $20. And the way you install it is after you take off the plate of your PS5, which you have to do to install any SSD, you will unscrew the cover and put the SSD in. 
And then all you have to do is when you rescrew the cover in, instead of rescrewing the cover in, you will screw in the Sabret heatsink. And what it does is it acts as a heatsink itself just by screwing it in as a cover. There is a piece of adhesive you'll have to remove. So when you reattach it and screw it in as the cover on your PS5, it will actually attach the SSD to perform as a heatsink. Again, you're using a heatsink, so even if you use the cover and just use a standard heatsink, you're fine. But the benefit to this is instead of trapping it all inside, it allows it to vent through the cover, allowing that heat to dissipate a little bit more. And again, the big thing with this is it's super easy to install, no matter how tech savvy you may or may not be. So that's why I really, really recommend that heatsink. So that wraps up the video. You should be good to go with one of those seven SSDs. You should have at least one of those in stock. You should be able to get a heatsink really easily. I hope this video was helpful for everyone. Um, I put a lot of research into it as I always do, just like with my buying guides and everything else. Uh, so look out for a review of the best TV you can get for the PS5. Um, I made a video back in January of the top five best TVs, and I'm making a new video, an updated one with the absolute best TV you can get for the PS5. Look for that video coming up soon in the next week or two. And of course, look for my live streams. If you haven't gotten a PS5 or Xbox Series X, I will help you do that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.